Hello everyone, this is Evan Abrams and today I'm going to go through a tutorial that is a request from a viewer, Shafe2k8, that's S-H-A-F-2k8, and he writes on the comments for the Animating Flourishes tutorial, great work. Can you make a tutorial on how to make never-ending flourishes? Thanks. To which I reply, glad you like it. How do you mean never-ending? You mean like growing constantly like a plant? Send me an example and I'll see what I can do for you. And so on and so forth. So this does have something to do with plants and all that kind of good stuff. And basically expanding on the ideas that we did in this first one. So I'll see what I can do to do that. Also, someone thinks my voice is sexy and I think that's very nice of them to say. So let's get into it. So basically I'm going to run through really fast here creating flourishes using the techniques used in that tutorial and I'm going to do it in fast motion but if you want to go ahead and do it yourself uh, click on a link somewhere on the page here go ahead and go through that really we're only going to be doing it four times for four different flourishes and we're just going to composite them together okay so all that's done and I have many comps that have all of the whooshes in them. So they're all growing, you know, they're all healthy whooshes and they're all coming on and coming into their own and getting through puberty all right and middle school is not too hard and they go on to have a pretty successful life, I think. So let's try to bring them all together and see what we can do there. So I've got a new composition open and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these comps, like this one is called the G comp, and you know what it is is the flourish animating out and we can get rid of these markers those aren't really important but to really use this whoosh and to composite it effectively you'll notice that it kind of stops and we need it to be going on for a lot longer and possibly for an infinite amount of time so we go layer time enable time remapping and that'll put in these two keyframes for us in the time map property and so as you can see on the first frame of the comp is time 0 and on the last is time 104 here at 104 so that makes sense but what we need to do is go to the end keyframe hit page up to go one frame back from it place a keyframe there and then go ahead and go to the you know end keyframe and delete that because by default the last keyframe is off and what we want to do is have it on so we have to go back one and then we just drag it out and there you go so now you've got a flourish that's always on and then what you can do is I mean you can make it animate on faster by pinching these together or slower by pushing them apart and you know you can align and scale and move this around so let's go to the final thing which you know is the first thing you saw which to make another time joke we've put the first thing last and so basically what you're looking at here is you know some text blah blah blah, blah and some of this funky rising sun effect here and you know we go into this pre-comp which is these two flourishes and we can see, you know, it's just a bunch of crap. I mean, these little flourish things that add up to make one larger flourish. And when they're all on, it looks actually pretty impressive. But, you know, one at a time, they don't, it's not very impressive at all. So that's a fun way of tricking your audience. And you just want to make sure that when you put them together that they sync up so that one starts inside the others. So you don't want them to you know, all come on at the same time. You want them to stagger. Ooh, I missed one there, but you know what? No one, no one has noticed yet, so I think I'm fine. Um, but yeah, you just want to be able to have a staggered start to them so they all, you know, blossom and come into their own in their own time and... Uh, go ahead and affect those up as you see fit and you know have fun with it really I mean you can put together multiples of the same elements 
to make some pretty interesting stuff, and all you're doing is copying and moving. So, I hope that uh, that clears up the question, and uh, that that's a satisfactory shout-out and tutorial and fan service completed. Uh, if anyone has any tutorial requests, just let me know, and I'll try my best to get to them. But you know what? Uh, I do come through eventually, so just remember that, and if you could tell my loved ones that I also, you know, come through eventually so they can start believing it too, that would be wicked cool. So, I'm Evan Abrams, hope you had fun, hope you make some cool stuff, I'd love to see the cool stuff you make, and if you have any questions, go ahead and ask me in the comments, and yeah, have a great day.